Okay, I found many reasons on the web for why Alberta needs a fire break. Here is one you should watch. Hi, I'm Gosia Gasparovic. I'm a developmental biologist, and I would like to talk about COVID infections in kids. Next slide, please. So this graph shows the infection rate, so daily new cases, uh, per 100,000 people per age range in Alberta. So we can see that all this bunch of colorful lines, that uh, like our infection rate uh, is very high in every age group in Alberta, but in most of them, it's it stopped growing. Uh, we are they are not growing, or they are even some some are even declining. While the green line, which is kids from elementary school kids five to eleven years old, they have the highest incidence rate of COVID infections, and at the same time the daily new cases are growing at an alarming speed. It's very fast growth. Uh, they are doubling every, new cases are doubling every 14 days, which is faster than what we have, which is faster than the growth rate we had during the second wave. And what is important, all these kids are not vaccinated. So none of them has a personal shield protecting them from infection and possible consequences of COVID infection, which are long COVID, severe illness, and for some them, of them even might be death. Um, the other group that is also 100% not vaccinated are zero to four years old, so blue line on this graph. And we can see that the infection rate in this group is much lower and it already stabilized. It's, it seems that it's not, uh, the, the daily new cases are not growing anymore. And the main difference between those two groups is that five to 11 years olds are in in-person school. So basically it shows that we are not, we are failing to protect our kids in schools from COVID infection. Next slide, please. So Alberta government doesn't protect our kids. Alberta plan for school was no masks, no air filtration, withholding precautions that we had last year. So removing cohorting, removing contact tracing, removing asymptomatic testing of close contacts and removing parental notifications of positive cases in schools. And now there's a recent addition on top of it that youth activities are exempted from vax passport program. We have masks now, but it's only because of strong advocacy to get them in schools. So basically, all of the elements on the left accelerate the speed. So we have Delta variant now in Alberta in large quantities. It's, it's dominant. So we have Delta variant that is more dangerous for kids than any previous variant that we had. All the kids under 12 are not vaccinated. At, at the same time, the government removes precautions from schools that we had last year. So removes the protective measures that were present. So basically, if, if someone would like to infect as many kids as possible, as fast as possible, the part on the left of the slide is a perfect recipe to do that. So. If you would be an alien then what, that wants to infect little earthlings, you would just need to copy paste it. That's how simple it is. Uh, next slide. So when we see this super fast growth in five to 11 years old, so our ele elementary school kids, they are get, the virus infects them. And now, and, what is super sad about it is that in just several months, we most probably will have vaccine for them. So in several months, they could be protected. They could be shielded from infection and consequences of it. So I really don't understand why this hectic crash to allow virus to infect them. And next slide. And it doesn't have to be like that. We can actually get out of this if... Alberta would now implement a strong decisive fire break with protections for, with strong protections, strong financial support for businesses and individuals. 
in less and at the same time had quarantine, mandatory quarantine for our all incoming travelers and testing, tracing and isolating, then in less than seven weeks, we could stop all the community transmission in Alberta. So basically everybody could be safe and we can prevent the fifth wave, prevent the disaster from, prevent another another iteration of disaster that we have now and everybody would be safe. And by having no community transmission, we could ensure the uninterrupted and safe schools for all the kids going forward. Thank you very much.